Hello and welcome back to Europa Novalis for the Great Can. As you notice, there's something new on the screen. I finally got the mouse cursor working again in videos, so hopefully when I point at something, you'll actually be able to see what it is. So, we have a problem. The main problem is the Ottomans are, not long, are no longer our friend. In fact, they really, really, really don't like us. Because they're not our friends anymore, they've decided they want all of our provinces. Uh, when I reload the game, so they want everything. They want all of this, they want all of this. So, we're get, we've got an issue with them. So, let's try and work out how strong they are. So, where is it? Ottomans? They have 60,000 men. They are level 11 military tech. And we have, in our small alliance, Oman, Baluchistan, and the Uzbeks. They have 18,000-ish. Baluchistan maybe have... Let's be generous and say 10,000. So, 28,000. We have another 14,000, so that puts us up to 42,000. And then we have our... What's that? 27,000. So, we almost have as much as the Ottomans. If we all combine. But we have another problem. In that... Their tech, their tech level is just way too good. We got level 9, level 8 for Baluchistan, level 10 for them, level 10 for us. So we really don't want to fight. If we do fight them, what's our plan? Well, um, we could try Scorching the Earth. So we just set all of... We just go and use... Uh, can we have a look at it now or do we need to... I think we might have to have a unit on it. Let's have a look at the unit. Uh, scorch the Earth. Uh, I believe it applies 20 attrition to the enemies when they uh, are trying to sit on a province. So we could do that to all of our main provinces. We could start building some forts up so that the Ottomans have some trouble actually getting through. They don't really have that many problems with forts, but we could set some out in like Moldovia, in Urmia, maybe in Alania and try and slow them down, I guess. Or we, and we can also get a new ally of the Mamluks. So, we don't quite have enough in terms of... No, is it? Yeah, we don't have enough relations to have the Mamluks as a ally now, but I think we're going to do it anyway. And I think we're going to do it because we need all the help we can get. The Mamluks may not be that strong. In fact, they're probably pretty weak. In Compared to the Ottomans. But everybody's weak compared to the Ottomans. Unless we're able to get a Western nation in, like Lithuania, Muscovy, Poland, Hungary, we're, we're going to be weaker than the Ottomans. But these guys, they have maybe 20, another 27,000 troops. It's definitely worth having them in the war. Um, so yes, what's our plan? I guess our first order of business is to attack Kara, but then we've got a truce with them for another six years because the Ottomans called us into one last uh, war. So, it's mostly just sitting and waiting and making sure that we don't completely fall apart. Uh, we can't insult anyone because all of our rivals are we have truces with, except for Musk. Wait, we don't have a truce with Muscovy. We could insult them. Oh, no, we can't insult them for another X number of years because they're the people we insulted before. I got it. I got it. Right. So, we can get manpower for, for piety loss or we can gain piety. 100% we're getting the manpower. Uh, royal marriage, we'll take it. Why are we losing money? What's happened? Uh, we're not losing money. That's what's happened. Uh, we will need to get rid of some of our advisors when war reparations runs out. I think it's with Muscovy. We still have war reparations, but that's fine. Lithuanian order accepted. Trade power relations. I wonder if anyone would accept that with us. Just out of our allies. Mm, no, they're not really into that. Georgia? Can't, because they're our subject. Fine. Fine. So yes, we should probably build some more men. And core this province. In another 10 uh, admin points. Let's see, what we're going to build? Just cavalry? I think that seems like a good idea. Uh, anywhere where we can build it for cheaper? Well, not, well, not necessarily cheaper, but quicker. There you go. This kind of area over here. That seems good. 
just want to look stronger when the Ottomans are doing their calculations like, can we declare war on Golden Horde? They have X number of men, so we can, kind of thing. Because uh, rather than having the potent, we don't want them to even think about fighting us. Want them to think it's a bad idea and that they'll lose. And we'll just send these guys down to the armies. We should probably not have um, army maintenance on because we're not at war. Uh, where are the rebellions? Persian separatists are 4.9. Yeah, we can have uh, army maintenance off for a couple of years, I think. We are sitting on provinces that have zero unrest, right? Not just because they have friendly troops. That one has zero unrest. That one has exactly zero unrest. Oh. Okay. Um, we're looking for somewhere that just has zero. This one just has zero, so we'll move up, kind of up one. Tell these guys to go to different provinces. And now we can turn army maintenance all the way down. Come on. Right. Uh, we can core that province now. Let's go and do that. Kefi, make core. And that should... Where was Kefi? I forgot. Alright, oh, yes. That's the last province from Genoa that we took. I'm really happy the Ottomans uh, stayed in like our ally long enough for that war. But let's have a quick look at um, trade for a second. So, we could switch to Crimea and try and get some more trade out of that. Mm, but there still is, like, I'm trying to think of a good reason to do this. To go and trade, change to Crimea. The only reason we'd trade, to change to Crimea is if we didn't have uh, all of the, it's like if we thought Astrakhan was, like, a bad node for us, but... It's really not that bad. It's got the same, it's like things are coming in from the same place and we're just cutting them off earlier. So, yeah, I guess we'll stay in the same trade nodes. We maybe want to go to War of Nogai. They're allied with Persia and Yarkin, so maybe we can get them where we've got a truce with them, don't we? And so the white flag. Four years. Okay, I'm trying to find wars. Honest. We just, uh, we're too nice, obviously. Can't find all these wars. Uh, how much do we need? 26 to build? Ah, uh, must be because of our inflation. That's fine. What's our force limit, anyway? 54. So we've got, we can, like, double our troop numbers. That's actually just straight up false, but... So this should be 31. So we can add another 23 troops. 22 if you count the one that we're built, uh, that we're uh, currently building. Uh, Belanga pieced out for that. Is that all their war was, or? Yeah, that was all their war was? They went to war with this person for years and years and they took war reparations. It's very interesting down here. It could be very easy to take over if we actually get down there. Although we have to get through Baluchistan first. As remember, there is someone we don't have a truce with. We don't have a truce with Timurids so who have the Conquest of Delhi uh, mission, which is very optimistic. Would anyone join in this war? You get Baluchistan and Oman in it. Uzbeks would not because they have a truce. Mamluks would not because it's too far away. Yeah, I kind of like going to war. We could go to war with the Timurids. They have no allies, so... That's, that'd be pretty good. We can take this one province, maybe take a couple across the sea because we can core them. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's only if we want to do this. Like, how many men do the Timurids have? Basically, is what I'm wondering. Timurids have 3,000. Okay, this isn't a war I should be thinking about. This is a war that should have happened already. Let's uh, raise army maintenance all the way up. We're going to lose a little bit of money, which we will get back when we start declaring war, because we could maybe wa raise war taxes or something. Right. Declare war. 
Tribal feud for... I guess we should go for the one that we actually want. Zanjan. Done. Doesn't look like they have any men here, so that's fine. We'll put uh, our siege leader in charge of the siege. And let's go for it. Our leader is actually pretty bad, because uh, if we're focusing all on Cav, we've got absolutely no like Cav here. You know, like, not... Ah, right. If we're focusing all on Cav, we have no shock here. That's what I was thinking. So, yes, uh, we have... I described that awfully. Sorry, it's uh, first thing in the morning, obviously. Uh, knights have pieced out of the Ottomans. They have taken over something. Where's Chios? They didn't take roads? Oh, that must be that one thing we couldn't see there. All right. But yeah, because uh, cavalry use shock value mostly, so it's... Uh, where is it? Right, these are the values they use. So cavalry use zero fire, but have two shock. So a shock leader would be worth more, because your shock phase is better anyway, if I understand this right. While for infantry, it's a little bit more even, and for cavalry, it's completely one-sided. We should probably build some cav... No, for artillery, it's completely one-sided. We should probably build some artillery. So, can we get there? Yes, because the Timurids got military access from Persia, which allows us to get through. Very, ni very nice of them to do that for us. We did foolishly allow Oman to actually uh, finish their War of Kara, which is a bit annoying, but it might mean that they're more willing to actually join our wars later. Inspiring victory. Taking away that. Post-war tax relief has gone. What's our mission? I totally forgot. Uh, convert Matrika to Sunni. Alright, we were doing that after we finished this current mission. Missionary, which is... It's going to be two years. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a conquest one that I'd forgotten about. That doesn't appear to be. Um, Alright, we'll split this these armies up a little bit. Let's put the eight stack up. Send four there. Send four there. Four there. Send two there. And that should siege it all very quickly. Each of these armies is more than capable of fighting the entire Timurid army, so I feel it's worth just uh, very quickly ending the war. Or sieging everything. We need a fort before they'll peace out, though. Right, uh, we can either have a stability, or we can have 58 ducats. 100% we're going to stability, the only question is... We're going to wait a month, then we're going to buy stability to level 1, and we're going to get a free stability level 2 from this. Here we go. Free stability level 2, and that gives us a lot more uh, stability... Well, it gives us unrest, it gives us... Let's see, check exactly what it gives us. Trade power, spy defense, national unrest, tax, the ability cost modifier goes up because it goes up each level, and missionary strength, which allows us to use those missionaries a little bit more effectively. Let's go get their fort. I think it, they only have a fort in their capital now, actually. Hopefully, Oman will deal with them. Actually, we can deal with them. We'll send this army off to the fort. Uh, we'll just tell them to go straight down. That should easily deal with the three stack there. Uh, it went over the month, so they won't be stack wiped. Because I believe you have to kill them within one month to be stack wiped. Yeah, and they'll probably retreat over here, I would imagine, somewhere. Ottomans have declared war on Montenegro. Um, where is Montenegro? Somewhere here, I guess? Ottomans appear to be uh, going uh, wild on Europe, which is great because they're not going wild on us. We finally cored that province that we need to convert. Very nice. Almost got Kef cored. Annexation still going fine, I think. 
gone a little slower because we lost some diplomatic rep uh, one of our diplomatic reputation bonuses went away, but still, it, it doesn't really matter. We got a new tech we can take. We can take the next level of military tech, which we will 100% take because it gives us cavalry fire. Perfect. We were just talking about that. That means that our fire general is better and it makes our armies just generally, uh, yeah, just much better armies. But we should still get some artillery for sieging, at the very least. I think you'd Two artillery maybe is gives you. Uh, I think one gives you one artillery gives you some benefit, and then two artillery gives you more benefit, and then it's like four or something afterwards. It could be wrong. Been a while since I've looked at it. More artillery is better. That's all I remember. Missionaries almost done. We need to send it off to the right province now. You need to go to Matrika, which is coincidentally the fastest province to core. So we'll do that. Not core, uh, to missionary. Convert, that's the word. Morocco accepted peace with Genoa. You know what? I need to change this list of people I care about because I no longer care about Genoa at all. Good. Changed it off. Because Genoa aren't next to us anymore. The Ottomans are trying to peace out. We're going to decline. We're going to take this fort. Then we're going to see what we can get out of them. I would even take the Timurids at, as a vassal. If uh, if that was an op option. I mean, I know I have problems with just randomly taking everyone as a vassal. But they have a lot of land. It's not very well connected. and But it is land we need. Hmm. I'll think about it. How much can we get, like... How much do we even need to vassalize them? Oh, they're so close. That is very close. No guy is transferring its trade power to the Timurids? How stupid are they? Yes, I think it's a great idea. Well, you're so strong, we'll transfer all our trade power to you. It just doesn't make sense. This tick has gone all the way up several times now. Come on, next tick, we'll take it. 42%. Uh, Ro and Kundis to Baluchistan. Oh, we're not giving land to Baluchistan. Unless they got, wait, do they have cores on it? Uh, no, they just have claims, no cores. Yeah, they're not getting any land. They can be upset with me all they like. This war was not for them. Uh, I guess we're going to siege the last province just so that they can't deny or whatever we send them. Kef it has been uh, convert cord. Got them mixed up again. Why do we not have a hundred percent war score? I'm trying to find the last timid bit of timid land that means that we're not getting it. Maybe it's because this is a show superior. It's not a show superiority, it's a feud. It's only possible to get 100% war score if the winning side controls all of the losing side's provinces and the losing side controls no city provinces. Oh, there's another war. This war here is taking one province. Okay. Let's uh, get out of there. So at the very least, we want this province. What else could we want? We can't make these a core? I thought you could because of that C. I guess this C zone doesn't count like other C zones. Uh, so that's all we can really take. We could get them to revoke cores on places. Don't really care. If we take them as a vassal, in fact, we'd love to t have them have all of these cores, so. Get them to release Kiva. What does that look like? Nope, don't want to do that. Can't make the the Marvassal. We could get war reparations. And uh, you can give up all your claims in Delhi. Definitely. And give us all your money. I guess we'll go for that. It's not much of a war deal, but it's fine. 
Accepted culture lost. We have lost Astrakhani as this accepted culture. Oh no, because it's no longer a, p a high enough percentage of our uh, stuff, I guess. Oh, there... Ooh, is that new? Or, like, that must be relatively new. I didn't... You didn't used to be a straight crossing there, I'm sure. Weird. Yeah, and they used to... Buran used to be really difficult to get to. Like, this this is Buran, isn't it? No. I'm getting confused. There used to be all sorts of little islands here that were difficult to get to. Hmm. I haven't played down here in a while. It was quite fun when I did. Uh, anyway, let's uh, set this to core. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.